Unveiling the mystery, the Trojan horse explained. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase that you might have heard before. It's a Trojan horse. This expression has a rich history and a very interesting meaning in both literal and figurative contexts. If you've ever wondered what this phrase really means and how you can use it in your conversations, you're in the right place. Let's unfold the mystery together. The term Trojan horse has its roots in ancient Greek mythology, particularly in the story of the Trojan War. According to legend, the Greeks gifted the city of Troy a massive wooden horse as a sign of surrender. However, this horse was not just a simple gift, it was a deceitful trick. Hidden inside were Greek soldiers who, under the cover of night, emerged from the horse, opened the city gates, and led to the ultimate fall of Troy. This story symbolizes deception and trickery, where something seemingly harmless or beneficial turns out to be dangerous or malicious. In modern times, when someone refers to something as a Trojan horse, they're drawing a parallel to this ancient story, implying that it appears innocent, beneficial, or non-threatening on the outside but harbors harmful intentions or consequences on the inside. This phrase can be used in various contexts. 1. Technology and cybersecurity, referring to malicious software that tricks users by appearing legitimate but is designed to gain unauthorized access to a computer system. 2. Politics and strategy, describing a policy or strategy that seems to offer benefits but is actually intended to undermine or harm. 3. Business and negotiations, warning about agreements or partnerships that may seem advantageous at first glance but could have hidden disadvantages. To help you better understand how to use this phrase, let's look at some examples. Be careful with that email attachment. It could be a Trojan horse designed to infect your computer. The proposed bill is seen by some as a Trojan horse for introducing more restrictive measures. Their investment offer seemed too good to be true, almost like a Trojan horse to take control of the company. I hope this video has shed some light on the intriguing phrase, it's a Trojan horse, and how you can use it to enrich your conversations and writing. Remember, it's all about the element of surprise and hidden intentions, drawing directly from a tale as old as time. Thank you for watching and I look forward to exploring more fascinating phrases and words with you. Stay curious and keep learning!